Hey guys, I'm Jason777, and this is War Thunder. This game is really awesome, guys. Um, this is something everybody's playing now, and I wanted to update you guys on my Watch Dogs walkthrough and show you guys how to play a lot of this game. Um, so with the Watch Dogs walkthrough, it doesn't really seem like that many of you guys are really enjoying that. <laughs> um, so I'm probably just going to finish it on my own. If you guys want me to... Um, do the rest of the walkthrough, let me know, because I will, but if you don't want me to, then that's totally fine. Because um, it seems like more of you guys are interested in War Thunder anyway, most of you guys are playing that now. So, I'm going to just show you guys how to navigate the menus, because it's a lot different than any other PlayStation 4 game. Okay. So, I'm rank 7. I haven't been playing this game that long, so I'm not a pro, but... Uh, you have like a little mouse thing and you use the touchpad to slide this around and when you want to click on something you can uh, use the touchpad, go over it and then you click R2 and it'll it'll basically be like touching you know a mouse basically or you could just tap the touchpad you don't actually click it you just tap it they made these little things so small and um, my buddy just showed me how to uh, like he just told me that you can click R2 to do this, so if you hold R2 you can actually resize all this good stuff if you want to do that. And the servers on this game are merged with PC, so you will be playing with PC players and PS4 players, which is not too bad, it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. Let's head into research. If you click L2 you can go to research a lot quicker than clicking on it. And uh, I'm in the American Plains right now, that was the the planes I wanted to go for. There's other sets like uh, there's the Nazi German jets and stuff like that. Uh, the jets aren't really like jet jets like nowadays jets, but they're like oh, dang it! If I could, oh, son of a, if I could just click this little bar, there we go. They they have like these types of jets from like years ago. And if you want to look at any of this stuff, you can actually just click on it and then click customize. I can't scroll to the right, or I mean, uh, pan the camera around to the right. I don't know why. I guess my game's just glitched. I can only go up and down. You're supposed to be able to go to the right, too, though. But this is the German jet. They got multiple jet fighters in every category. Um, and you get an XP boost for your first game of the day. Um, at, I think, around 5 o'clock is when it resets uh, Pacific time. It's like 8 o'clock Eastern Time. So there's the bombers right here. Uh, bombers are more slow paced and they're not so like in the action. Fighters are more just in the action as you would guess from the name. And then there's these attackers which is in the bomber list. I don't really know why but it's <laughs> it's more of a, um, a, a fighter bomber combo. Um, the, this attacker specifically has like rockets and stuff. It's really good at taking down bombers. Uh, one missile will, I mean, one rocket will destroy any bomber in one hit, so that's nice. Or at least I think so. I haven't fought any heavy bombers, so maybe they don't go down in one hit, but I'm assuming they do. And, uh, so far the best planes have always been the most agile ones, and there's these really. I hate to say overpowered, because I know somebody doesn't like that word, but <laughs> uh, these Russian planes here have a turn time of um, like nothing. Where is it? One of them has like this incredibly fast turn time, and it's just dumb. Uh, is it? Yeah, here's the one. Every other plane. Uh, has like over a 10 second like above 15 like this plane here is more average right here the, the 115 um, for some reason it has different stats there that's weird um, but yeah most planes have um, turn times that are a lot longer than that like just the general fighter like this one the lag 3A8 uh, this one has a 22.7 turn time, which makes more sense, because that's more balanced with all the other planes. 
for some reason those planes though they turn super sharp and when you're actually playing when one of them can turn that sharp you're never going to be able to shoot them so you need a buddy to shoot them off of you because that's the only way they're going to die and luckily the jets though are i mean the planes you get later are a lot more strong than those first ones so their bullets are weaker and they're not going to take you down instantly but it's still annoying because you can't really shoot them because they can do circles around you while you're turning <laughs> it's pretty annoying so yeah that's how you navigate the menu uh, a common thing that people have trouble with is joining a squad so when you want to make a squad you can literally just click on the contacts and you you'll have um, you won't have all your friends in here automatically. You have to go down to add friend and then it'll pop up the entire screen. It'll pop up all your friends. want to your game. Just and then you can give them a game alert, which is basically a message on PSN and then invite to squad without the game alert it just pops up this little drop down thing next to your name on the top left and it'll just automatically make a squad if i invite chicken here it just pops me in a squad and if he joins it'll pop up right here i don't even know if he's in a game right now so he probably won't join but if he was in here this little symbol here next to your name it would be gray when they're in lobby or white and if you hover over their name, you can see all their planes and that type of good stuff and what tier their planes are. And this little thing will turn green when they click ready, because for them, there'll be a little thing right here that says ready or not. And you just click on that to get ready. So when you join somebody else's squad, make sure you open up this little chat box and click ready. Otherwise, the host can't search for a game. So I think that's just about everything to cover as far as the interface goes. So moving on to more of the, these things here. This this is your crew. So each one of like I have five slots here, and each one has a separate crew. So if I click on this one, they have different stats, and that's that's not a crew specific to your plane, it's specific to the slot. So you can put any plane in this slot, and it'll have this crew. So, like, my most developed crew is this crew, oh, no, this crew. And um, I got, like, crazy amounts of gunners. If you're using a bomber, you fighter, you don't have leveled gunners, because the gunners are, like, the AI. And then your ground service is uh, your reload speed and if you hover over this stuff it does give you a description of all of it and if you're wondering why i have this this um, plus 30 thing here it's because of this qualification here you can upgrade your um, your qualification to expert or higher depending on your crew level this crew level is 342 and i think it's 150 for the tier 2 planes and then it's 100 for tier 1 planes to upgrade to an expert crew and just upgrading to an expert crew just makes this happen you get an extra 30 points on all of this stuff which is useful and I don't have all expert gunners or experienced gunners I mean on this one because this uh, plane has five gunners and I only have four experienced gunners so I actually have negative points here because they're not experienced <laughs> noobs um, and you want to upgrade keen vision to see in front of you awareness is around you and that's basically just the area where you can detect enemies like it'll pop up the little red um, names above people's head so you can see where they are you just upgrade keen vision to see guys in front of you that's where you're pointing your plane and then awareness is around your plane um, which I don't know why they separated those it doesn't really make sense but they did uh, your G tolerance just makes it so you can turn really sharp and not have uh, your guy kind of get all walk, walked out from you know the G's <laughs> uh, when you turn really sharp and you're going really fast you get this massive amount of G force on your guy and your screen gets all black and you can't see a target anymore 
it's it's kind of annoying so upgrading that can actually help you kill people when you're doing turns stamina increases your resistance to g tolerance and things like that because uh, over time your um your pilot uh just starts being bad like he he'll actually be um just less effective in flight which is kind of cool i guess i don't know if that applies in arcade mode it might though Arcade mode's really short, it's like 15 minute games, it's really not that long. And then Vitality is the health of um, your actual pilot himself, so when he gets shot, he can be knocked out by a bullet. And that's so annoying, I wish they didn't have that feature in this game. But if somebody actually does shoot a bullet at your plane and it hits your pilot, you can just instantly die, and no matter what condition your plane's in, they could literally just kill you in one bullet if they hit your pilot which is not easy to do, but it is really annoying when it just, for some reason, happens like crazy. Like, I've been in a couple of games where it was just like, every second, I was getting a bullet to the head, and I was like, come on now, that's such crap. Or they'd be behind me and still shooting my pilot, it's just, it's annoying. And they can do that to your gunners as well. This is my bomber here in the background, the B-25. This thing is more of an attacker bomber. It's just like the A20G, which is an attacker, um, except this thing only has two turrets, and it doesn't have really like high-quality bombs. It doesn't have like 1,000-pound bombs, and the B25 can actually have up to three 1,000-pound bombs, and you can actually look at all that in here. You can have three 1,000-pound bombs. You've got to like, go through all this skill tree as you level up your plane. And that just comes from playing. I mean, as you play the game, it'll research stuff, and you can choose which one you want to research. Most of this is defense. I always go for my offensive stuff first, mainly because on bombers, you don't get attacked as often. But uh, for some reason, I get in games where people just target bombers, and it's actually pretty easy to take down a bomber because they don't really do much back to you unless they have really good... Uh, crewmen that'll shoot you down quickly thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did check out part two to the intro so you can find out how to play the rest of the game